Have you ever wondered what would happen if a complete beginner cyclist, someone who has hardly ever touched a bike before, decided to challenge themselves and take on an epic ride? Yeah. <laughs> Woo! I'm a warrior, bitch. Could they do it? Would they bonk? Would they crash? Oh my gosh. Well, today we're going to find out. I hope I don't die. I'm being dropped by Harriet. Oh God, I've got memories of that horrific 16% climb. This is Beginner Cyclist versus 30 Miles. We all love a Pinarelli. For this challenge, we need a beginner cyclist and someone who is willing to be in a Juicy End video. Thankfully, we have just the volunteer. Not so long ago, we did a video where we put two beginner riders on top of the range superbikes and you loved it. You especially loved Harriet. Sorry, Richardson, eat your heart out. I'm sorry to everyone who were killed to ride a Pinarelli or whatever this is called. Her enthusiasm, her humour and her YOLO approach to the challenges. We're going to get Harriet to do her toughest challenge yet. She's going to attempt to ride a whole 30 miles, which is a long way for any beginner, let alone someone who has never ridden close to this far before. I'll be riding with her, giving her motivation and guiding her through the ride. So let's go meet her and see how she feels about this challenge. Well so good to see you again. How are you doing? Great. Scared. Why, 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 why am I doing this? Well, the viewers wanted you back. So first of all, since the last challenge, what have you been up to? Well, uh, not a lot of, whole, not a whole lot of writing. Um, mainly just, uh, working and just doing my everyday stuff but I have been going to the gym so I've been trying to get my fitness up so hopefully, oh, that's good. hopefully this will be all right. So what's the furthest you've ever ridden before? I don't know. Okay. <laughs> Seriously fine. I do not know so this is definitely going to be interesting. So you ready? Right. No here we go. Yes you are you can do this. <laughs> all right here we Let's go. Let's do it. <laughs> I've planned out a route for us today, a really nice one. Now for a beginner cyclist tackling their first long ride, you want them to feel comfortable. And taking Harriet on busy roads with lots of cars and massive climbs isn't going to be that enjoyable for her. And we're off. We're off. <laughs> we're on a roll. So I've plotted out a route on Kamut that takes us from here in Bath. There'll be a little bit of on-road riding before we get to the railway path. They'll take us all the way to Bristol, where we'll have a nice little cafe stop because, well, that's what cycling's all about, isn't it? Before heading all the way back to Bath. It's 15 miles each way, making it 30 miles long and 700 feet of climbing. For a beginner, I think it's best to take away the stress of cars because it can be a little bit daunting, can it? And also the stress of hills, because we all know how that turned out last time. Yes. <laughs> The Bath to Bristol bike path is a popular one, now carrying at least 1 million trips a year. It's flat, it's traffic free and it has stunning views and greenery. She is going to love this ride, I'm convinced. Okay Harriet, we're 7 kilometres into the ride, how are you feeling so far? Honestly great at the moment. Uh, as you can see it is raining a little bit, which is going to make it a little bit trickier. So things to bear in mind when it's when it's raining is that obviously the floor gets a little bit wet and yep. braking is a little bit different so you just want to be a little bit more gentle on your brakes and so no like slamming on the brakes because you are just going to skid. I am being dropped by Harriet. She's absolutely zooming ahead there is no stopping this girl. The bike path is the perfect place for any beginner's first long ride. They're safe, they're purpose built and you don't have the stress of cars and they're usually pretty flat. Oh God, I've got memories of that hor horrific 16% climb. Never forgiven you for that. All right, Harriet. Hello. We're halfway. We're actually over halfway. What? Nine, <laughs> nine three quarters to Bath, six miles to Bristol. If I'm being honest, it doesn't feel like it, really. That's good. In a good way. <laughs> yeah, nice. We've only got six miles to go to Bristol. Uh, so now is a good chance for me to take some food on board, have a drink. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because uh, I would do it on the bike, but 
I can't take my hands off the handlebars yet. So maybe we can try that later. Yeah, maybe that is something we can try and master towards the end of the ride is... I hope I don't die. Taking uh, a bottle. Mm, yeah. I also can't stand on the pedals, so... Stand up out the, out the saddle. Out, out, out the saddle, yeah, yeah. Okay, we, we can try and do that too. So a few little things to work on. Okay. Um, <laughs> so yeah, let's have a little quick little break and then we'll yeah. get going to Bristol. Yeah, okay. Okay, Harriet, we're now heading into one of the most exciting parts yeah. of the bike path, oh, yeah. the tunnel. Actually, not, not as exciting as the cafe, but still pretty exciting. I've been looking forward to this bit. Oh, it looks spooky. <laughs> <laughs> you would not want to be in here at night on your own, would you? Oh my God, absolutely not. It would be very scary. But it's pretty cool. Okay, so we just had a little stop here and Harry is a little bit nervous about getting going on a slight incline. She's worried she's going to go into nettles. She's not yeah. going to go into nettles, but I understand it is quite hard setting off. A little bit. So what you want to do, set off as you do normally. Yeah. Get your feet on the pedals. Right. And you just want to look ahead. Just, just look ahead. Yeah, do not look down. Do not look or down. Or do, don't look at the nettles because you'll end up in the nettles if you look at the nettles. All right. So look ahead and look then ahead. just pedal. All right. So okay. get your foot on the pedal. Yeah. And then just go. Then look up, look up, look up. There we go! Go, yeah. go, go, yeah! Woo! Woo! I'm a warrior, bitch! Oh my See? god. Nailed it. Lovely. Woo! This looks posh. <laughs> Harriet, we've made it to the cafe. We're officially halfway through. We've done 15 miles. Fifth, that's insane. <laughs> Didn't it's know insane. I could do, do that. Do you reckon that's the furthest you've ever ridden? 15 miles? Oh uh, Yeah, absolutely. And absolutely. we're going to do it all again on the way back. Oh, joy. <laughs> no, it'll be fun, it'll be fun. It was nice it'll because be. I, for some reason, was under the impression that I would have to pedal literally all the way, but there was times where you could just... Yeah glide and you, the wind you're just not... takes you yeah exactly <laughs> and now i'm eating a nasa and yeah this is this is what cycling's all about stopping at a cafe okay absolutely <laughs> how are the legs feeling a little bit wobbly i, I didn't realize just how tired they actually were until i stopped and we were standing to get our coffees and i was like oh <laughs> what's going on they're also very dirty but a lot of people here are also cyclists and um, they probably think that's quite normal so the only place i could be covered in dirt and not be judged so that's good. Right. But we'll finish our coffee and cake and then we'll get going on the road again. Yay! Right, Harriet. All right. Let's get going. Absolutely. All fueled, ready to go. Yes. You might suffer from cafe legs on this first, like. Caffeine thing. legs. Cafe legs. Oh, cafe, cafe legs. Oh, right. yeah. yeah. Oh, God. It's where you stop at the cafe for a bit long and then your oh, legs seize no. up a bit. It tends to happen to me a lot, but. I have um, a feeling I'm going to regret this second half. <laughs> We're going to be good. <laughs> So we're about 10 minutes into our ride back after the cafe. Harriet, how are the legs feeling? I know what you mean by cafe legs now. It's, it's a funny feeling actually. It's like you need to warm them up again and get them going. Yeah, really, I, I was like, wait, why am I finding this so hot? <laughs> It'll get easier, I promise. Yeah. On a bit of a party for Harriet. So Harriet, we've got five miles left of this ride. You've absolutely smashed I can't believe that last it, 25 actually. miles. I can't believe it. How has it been so far? Really, really nice. <laughs> I, I did not notice the miles just ticking. Yeah, and it's been so nice to be on a bike path as well. You don't have to. Yeah. I find sometimes when you ride on the road and you've got cars behind you, you feel oh. like you have to go a little bit quicker. So Absolutely. It, um, but it's been nice and chilled on the bike path, hasn't it? Yes, and minimal hills, which is... Which is always good. Always a plus. <laughs> um, <laughs> well, how did you find it? Because this morning it was a little bit wet and damp. How did you find riding? Yeah, 
in wet it was weather. Definitely scarier to ride in wet weather because I was skidding so much. Like we did there have were, a few skids. We did. There were a few bits off um, camera. Unfortunately, we did. Well, fortunately, we didn't get them because um, uh, we. I had to stop for someone else, and I was just like suddenly skidding like mad and I like fell into some brambles but I didn't fall like totally I just kind of little slip little but slip get, like you're on a bike that what you've ridden once before yes. and <laughs> it takes a while to kind of get the feel of the brakes and everything like that but absolutely we've got five miles left now do you think you can make it probably hopefully I yes, think so you can you are gonna smash <sighs> this my legs are killing <laughs> Should we try um, the oh, yeah. one-handed thing again? Oh, God. Okay. Look up. Right, yeah. And then just bring your hand off gently. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh. Look at you go. <laughs> just fell on a hush. <laughs> I'll tell you what, I was so terrified on the shoot. I was so terrified. But literally, as soon as you start pedaling, and you've got, like, you know how to start your bike. Right to starting your bike. Once you know how to start your bike if you're pedaling, that's it. Like, you're, you, you just need to get on your bike. You just need to keep up. So, Is it scary? Oh, yeah, at first. But, like, uh, when you keep going, like, just when you keep going, it's like you're just one with the bike here eventually. And it's like, oh, this is great. <laughs> Oh my God. Harriet. Oh. <sighs> you have done it. You've completed a whole 30 miles. Bloody hell, I don't know how that even happened. This bike definitely helped. We all love a Pinarelli, but oh my God, the saddle is so uncomfortable. We do love a Pinarelli. <laughs> yeah, the thing is with bike saddles, they're not the most comfiest, especially if you haven't done much riding. Absolutely it's not. not the comfiest, but I am so, I'm so proud of you, Harriet. <laughs> Thank you. You have just I'm ridden your too. longest ride ever. <laughs> yes. Now what I really want to do next is oh, do- we're on to the next challenge already. <laughs> oh, <laughs> on to the next one. We're gonna, I really want to ride it on not a super bike yes. because this definitely helped me, but at least I know I can do that distance. I know the route. So confidence is now, Fine. You know your body is capable of it. There's yes. nothing on the route that you need to be yeah. worried about. So now I just want to do it on a normal bike. And it does help also being in a group, like, um, or just with someone, because you can just talk and you're not focusing on how horrible your legs feel <laughs> or your bum. Um, so yeah, I would like to try it solo and on my own bike. But uh, I don't think I'm going to take a lie down. <laughs> <laughs> you deserve a lie down after that. But what did you find the hardest bit about today? Oh, starting again after eating was really nasty. And the, was that just the feeling in the legs? The feeling in the legs, I was not used to that. And the last stretch was just like that path, the cycle paths just don't end, do they? I was like, oh my God, when is this going to end? Passing people as well was pretty tricky, but we did bump into some of you lot, so that was really lovely. But um, yeah, it is a bit nerve wracking manoeuvring and trying to not yeah, crash get past into walkers some... and when other cyclists come and it's a little bit narrow, that can be a bit tricky. But I, you, honestly, the start of the day and the end of the day, two completely different people. At the end of the day, you look so comfortable on that bike and setting off, you're setting off in a straight line, you're riding the straight line and we managed to take one half hand off the bar. We did, and that's progress. <laughs> and you managed to touch your bottle, which I is great. I the bottle. <laughs> that is such an improvement. Yes, yes, I am really proud of myself. And you're saying that your um, hands and arms are getting a bit sore because you yeah. find it quite hard to move positions on the bike because you like to have your I hands on the brake. I can't take my hands off the brake because I feel really nervous when I do that. So like, I was just clinging onto them. But because I was putting so much weight on my arms, like my, uh, it, I can barely move it. It's so stiff. I'm sure some road cyclists can relate to that. But, yeah. Well, you've done so well. And please, everybody, get down in that comment section below and give Harriet some love because she has done amazing today. And thank you again for being so willing. Thank you for having just, me. Just throw amazing. yourself at any challenge we throw at you. It's been a fantastic so, day. Well, you've, been, you've done absolutely fantastic. It's been lovely. Thank you.